Hello, everyone. My name is Jin Zhang. I'm the product director for AC Formal at Synopsys. Today, I'm speaking with Love Sempet. Love is an experienced senior engineer at Qualcomm, specializing in verifying high performance CPUs. With over five years of industry expertise, Love excels in formal verification and courage driven methodology. Love earned a Master of Science degree in electrical and computer engineering from Georgia Tech. And he's always happy to talk about all things formal. And on this point, we have a lot in common. Welcome, Love. Thank you so much, Jin. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Hey, Love. So today our um, topic of conversation is about coverage-driven methodology, which is your favorite topic. Let's start from the very beginning for our audience here. Why don't you introduce um, what it means by coverage-driven methodology and why is it important to try to achieve 100% coverage closure and why simulation-only based methodology is challenging to uh, achieve that goal? Yeah, sure. I think that's a good starting question. Well, um, as as you introduced me, I work in design, design verification, and uh, my peers know that the job of verification engineer is never truly complete. Um, we identify metrics for sign off and try to reach those uh, uh, goals before we had before we ship the design. And coverage acts as a measure for verification. It's um, it's a metric that helps you manage verification efforts. There was a saying, uh, there's a very famous saying that says, you can only manage what you measure. Um, so um, code coverage in particular is a metric that helps you identify verification completeness with respect to how well your test bench is exercising those lines, expressions, the states and transitions of the FSMs in your design. If you do achieve 100% code coverage closure, it gives you confidence in the fact that your simulations have actually exercised all the parts of the designs and that you're, you, you don't have any parts of the code that uh, your testing hasn't touched yet. And um, I, I'm sure there are a lot of challenges day in, day out for you to achieve that goals. And this is where formal unreachability analysis can actually come and help a little bit. Can you explain what is formal unreachability analysis and how does that assist with the simulation methodology to help achieve 100% uh, coverage? Yeah, of course. Let's let's start with the challenges, right? Um, code coverage is an instrumented metric. Um, this is not a design implemented uh, coverage measure. That's it's simply functional coverage. So in code coverage, it's actually becomes very really tedious to review because it can be quite low level. Modern designs are large and they can have hundreds of millions of these coverage items. And reviewing each and every one of them can be a impossible task, to say the least. Um, second, it requires deep design knowledge to be able to review the implementation of the hardware. And so it often requires the logic authors or owners to themselves spend time reviewing the code coverage. And this takes away from the premium designer time uh, that we all know is uh, quite limited. Um, we also observed that the majority of time is actually spent on distinguishing real versus false hopes. And um, so, you know, given these challenges, there has been a need in the industry of uh, reviewing code coverage in a better way. And that's where formal steps in. Um, the formal technology, um, you mentioned unreachability analysis, so, you know, by definition, it, it exposes unreachable goals in your coverage model and waves them from your list of uh, uncovered items that you have to review. So it's sort of a tool that's going to remove any irrelevant part of your logic or any um, code that is um, not applicable to the, you know, design under review and make it easier for you. And the way it does it is actually pretty neat where it consumes the coverage you've collected from your simulations and then only focuses on what's uncovered. And from that set, it identifies those unreachable goals and excludes any, um, in, you know, excludes any items that are unreachable. So you're left with a reduced set to review, significantly reducing the time spent on um, false holes, um, especially for parameterized designs. 
you know, if you say if this or that, and if, if is not defined, you know, you and our short for each utility analysis will come and remove that if condition for you. So that seems very useful. And um, I know we have to run uh, unreachability analysis at the, you know, ideally uh, subsystem system level. And uh, we know formal analysis typically uh, have challenges, right? Um, handling large designs. In your formal SIG presentation, you talked about all those skill SLC capability and how that using divide and conquer can help um, scale up essentially to a large size. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how that helps? Oh, I'd be happy to. You know, UNR is one of those um, low cost, low complexity formal applications. I like to think of it as a, a gateway formal app before diving into more complex formal methods and applications. Um, also, given that unreachability analysis is actually instrumented from your source code itself, it uh, it's it's really low investment. It all it's almost plug and play, where you just enter it as part of your simulation environment, and it does the analysis, generates those exclusions for you. However, the the challenges that come with you and are quite unique. Uh, folks familiar with other formal apps might know that it's you know the. Um, a very famous or very common approach to resolving the compute needs of formal technology is to divide and conquer. However, in when doing code coverage analysis, what you're really doing is you want to review a hundred percent of your uh, yeah, you know RTL, and so if you're going to divide that RTL into different runs, uh, what happens is you limit the tool's ability to propagate constants, past parameters, exclusions. So it's it's a unique app in that you're required to actually let the formal tool consume your entire design, almost like what EC does, and be able to um, prove the property model against that static yet comprehensive RTL model. So typical complexity reduction techniques like black boxing, abstractions, reductions, over constraints, under constraints, all directly affect the integrity and quality of UNR output. And so we actually have uh, been looking for a better solution to um, help reduce complexity in our UNR runs. And that's where auto scale steps in. So that's one of the, you know, that's that's a fresh technology and uh, it aims to do something different. Um, instead of dividing your design by logic, what it aims to do is it's, inst you know, it. Um, it changes the way it creates the formal model during runtime to aid property checking. Um, and it's it's actually quite smart. So instead of dividing the logic, it's gonna take your property set, it's gonna divide them into many different tasks, and then per task, it's going to um, check the cone of influence required to prove those properties within a certain task and only create a limited optimized, reduced formal model during runtime. And what that helps to do is without dividing the logic, you're able to control the size of the formal model. And that that is a direct, uh, that has direct impact on the complexity seen by the formal engines. It has a you know, direct impact on how much compute you need to spawn, how much memory you need to provide, how many CPUs are running. And so, um, you know, you find that balance into how many tasks do the job for you, but we found it to be very helpful. Um, when using auto scale to consume an entire design. I'm so happy to hear that um, we can offer you some tools that will make your job easier. And I do also want to emphasize one point that you made earlier is this unreachability analysis using formal technology is really the easiest app that people can adopt. So it is our hope that through our conversation, more people will understand about it and leveraging that in their coverage driven methodology. Um, Love, I want to thank you for sharing your insights, your knowledge, and I can definitely feel your passion in formal verification. And for our audience out there, if you want to know more about this, uh, please check Synopsis' website, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.